Hi, welcome to another Cold Fusion video. Deep Learning, a subset of AI, has been making a lot of waves recently. In previous videos, we've seen how deep neural nets are progressing rapidly within many fields. We've seen this technology diagnose medical conditions with more accuracy than trained experts. AI is able to learn from numerous amounts of data. That's what humans can't do. Now the accuracy of early detection of esophageal cancer has reached 90%. Learn how to produce sound from scratch. Recreate the visual aspects of speech. We apply the same input speech mapped to four different target videos. Note that all four are synthetic and have different lighting conditions. The auto industry to help families refinance their homes, to invest in things like high tech manufacturing. But what are some lesser known applications of deep neural nets that could make their way down to the average consumer? In this video, we'll count down five interesting uses of neural nets in the context of images and video. But first, a quick word from our sponsor. This video is brought to you by Audible. Audible has a massive range of audiobooks and is one of the best ways to binge content while you enjoy your summer activities or downtime. One book that I'm listening to at the moment is Super Intelligence by Nick Bostrom. The book goes through the history of artificial intelligence and the paths that we might take to get to super intelligence. It's a good read and I recommend it. Audible is offering you guys a free audiobook with a 30-day trial membership. Just go to www.audible.com slash coldfusion or text coldfusion to 500-500 and download a title for free. Number five, restore color to black and white photos and videos. Normally, when you see a black and white image of a time long past, it looks dull, distant, and unrelatable. If you wanted to colorize that image and make it come to life, it usually requires the effort of a keen artist who has a knowledgeable understanding of the cultural setting in order to choose the right colors. Here's an excerpt from Vox Media on how a colorization artist goes about their craft. ...and styles of the time are faithfully represented. A good colorizer has a good network of people to call, call on. We had one guy, he's like a specialist in ethnographic dress. He was showing me like museum grade samples and you know, he lives and breathes this stuff. So like every single little detail, like, you know, like the color of beads on like a Laplander necklace or something, you know, it's really, this has got to be the exact thing. I think the uh, longest I've spent on an image is nearly a month. What if there was a way to do this instantly. Well, thanks to deep neural networks, this is now possible. Let There Be Color is a neural net system that automatically restores color to black and white photos. It can also do the same with video. It uses a convolutional neural network and can process images of any resolution, unlike previous approaches. The deep learning network actually learns patterns that occur naturally in photos. Things like the sky is usually blue and clouds are white and gray and grass is typically green, etc. But it did this itself from past experience without human intervention. Let There Be Color colorizes photos much better than the state of the art for 100 year old images. Just take a look at some samples here. Number four, pixel enhancing CSI style. You know that thing that they do in movies and TV crime shows such as CSI, where an investigator demands that a grainy image be enhanced and somehow, magically, it becomes HD. Can you enhance it? Can you enhance it? Can we enhance this? Can you enhance it? Hold on a second, I'll enhance. Zoom in on the door. Times 10. Zoom. Move in. I know many people get annoyed with such an unrealistic portrayal of technology, but now, this kind of image enhancing is now possible thanks to neural networks. Google Brain researchers have trained a deep learning neural network to take very low resolution images of faces and predict what those faces would most likely look like. They call the method Pixel Recursive Super Resolution and it enhances the resolution of photos dramatically. In the image below, you can see the original 8x8 photos and in the middle, you can see the guess from the system. Obviously it's not perfect and I don't think it can be, but it's pretty unbelievable that this neural network can guesstimate so well the features of the person within a photo. Number three, generating new images. pix to pix is a deep learning neural network that generates new images based on input. This neural network was trained to perform multiple but specific tasks. Either create real street scenes from colored shapes, 
or create a drawn map from an aerial photo, or turn day scenes into night, and finally, make a photorealistic image just from an outline. I think the last example is actually pretty cool. The pix to pix system uses two neural networks arranged in such a way that one network generates images and the other network is the judge of if these images are real or not. These two networks try and fool each other and improve each other in the process. This setup is known as a generative adversarial network. If you want to try out some of this stuff, there's a simple web app created for you to have a play with the edge outline part of this neural network. Links will be below. Number two, lip reading. LipNet is a neural network developed by Oxford University and Google DeepMind scientists. This network can watch a silent video of a person talking and convert the mouth movements directly to text. LipNet has reached 95% accuracy in reading people's lips. An average lip reader has an accuracy of about 50 or 60%. So that's not bad at all for LipNet. Number one, creating a scene from scratch. A team of computer scientists from institutions such as the University of Wyoming and Uber's AI department have created what they're calling plug-and-play generative networks. This system is able to generate photorealistic images from a selection of a thousand categories. I guess it's early days for this stuff and some of them do look a little weird, but it's still cool to see the network try and figure out how to create a scene from scratch. Here's a video of the neural network running. The goal is to generate the image that's written in text below, and each frame you see in this video is a different iterative step of trying to get there. It actually kind of looks beautiful to look at. So that pretty much rounds out the video. What application did you like best? If you know of any other cool uses of deep neural networks, feel free to let me know in the comment section below. Anyway, thanks for watching. This has been Dagogo. You've been watching Cold Fusion. Feel free to subscribe if you've just stumbled across this channel, and I'll catch you again soon for the next video. Cheers, guys. Have a good one. Cold fusion. It's new thinking.